A man holding five children walking away from a pile of rubble. The picture was shared tens of thousands of times on X, formerly known as Twitter. Next to it, the claim, a picture is worth a thousand words and the Palestinian flag with a broken heart emoji. At first glance, we see a terrible photo from the Gaza Strip, where Israeli troops have bombed buildings in the ongoing conflict. More than 13,000 people, including women and children, have been killed here so far, according to Palestinian sources. However, if you take a closer look, several things stand out. The man's right shoulder, for instance, is disproportionately high. The two limbs emerging from underneath are also strange, as if they were growing from his sweater. Also striking is how the hands of the two boys, who have wrapped their arms around the neck, merge into each other. And there are too many or too few fingers and toes in several of the hands and feet in the picture. The image is not real. It was created with the help of artificial intelligence. But even though it is now labeled accordingly on X, many users have fallen for it. AI-generated images like this are a new tool for spreading disinformation and fake news. We have already seen AI fakes in Russia's war against Ukraine, and now also in the current conflict between Israel and Hamas. Hamas is classified as a terrorist organization by the EU, the USA, and other countries. If 1% of the images that we see coming out of Israel and Gaza are fake, that's enough to cast a shadow across everything. Right? Because if we enter this world where it is possible to manipulate images, audio and video, well then everything is in question. AI images are often disseminated to trigger certain emotions. In the case of Israel's war in the Gaza Strip, they serve to emphasize the suffering of one side or the other, or to arouse patriotic feelings. For example here, this image shows soldiers waving Israeli flags on a street surrounded by destroyed buildings. It looks as if the picture was taken from an elevated position and as if it shows that Israel has taken control of another settlement in Gaza Strip. But let's take a closer look. The Israeli flags are waving unnaturally. The street in the middle also appears too clean, while the rubble looks very uniform. The destroyed buildings also look like twins standing at pretty regular intervals. All in all, the visual impression is too clean to appear realistic. Overall, this kind of flawlessness, which makes images look like they have been painted, is also typical for AI. The image is a fake, created by AI tools. The user account from which it was posted also provides a clue, a parody account. Nevertheless, it has gone viral. Even some media outlets fell for it. The Bulgarian newspaper Epicenter published it as a main image for one of its articles without labeling it as AI generated. The caption simply reads, Israeli army enters Gaza and attacks hundreds of Hamas positions. This is not the only example of mainstream media using images that are not real, but AI generated without labeling them as such. Since last year, the tech giant Adobe has also included AI generated images in its range of stock photos. Now the database also contains AI images relating to the Middle East war explosions, destroyed and burning houses, or even clouds of smoke behind the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. This once again raises the question, is it acceptable in journalism to use images created with the help of artificial intelligence? In which cases should you clearly keep your hands off them? Even if Adobe labels AI images accordingly, this does not mean that all Adobe customers pay attention to this when they use the images. Newsbreak, for example, an online magazine from the news site Rappler, used an Adobe AI image without mentioning that it wasn't real. We found out through a reverse image search. It's something that should be done with a lot of caution, very carefully, because if we start feeding the public with AI-generated images, when we talk about reality in our work, we are talking about a war that is happening in the Middle East, or I don't know, floods happening in Asia, or famine happening in Africa, whatever. And we use false images. This creates, I think, some sort of tilt in, in our brain. Artificial intelligence is a revolutionary technology. It allows us to visualize topics that would otherwise be very difficult to depict. 
but it's a problem when we can barely distinguish between real and fake. Examples like this show just how complex the whole issue is when real images are labeled as fakes. This photo is said to show the charred corpse of an Israeli baby and was shared by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office, US commentator Ben Shapiro, and other accounts on X. Then the controversial anti-Israeli influencer Jackson Hinkle questioned the authenticity of the image, believing it was created using artificial intelligence. As proof, Hinkle shared a screenshot of an AI detector, according to which the image is not genuine. The viral post was seen over 22 million times on X. However, many did not believe Hinkle, with a good reason. AI detectors can help to check whether an image or text is possibly AI generated. However, they are prone to errors and are best suitable as an additional tool, but not as the only one for spotting AI fakes. We also uploaded the image to various AI detectors and received the result that the image looks genuine. You know, in the type of work that we do, we don't rely on a single technique. We, we have dozens and dozens of these different techniques. We analyze different aspects of the image. And then we ask things like, where did it come from? Where has it shown up before? Who is sharing this? Like, you, these things are not push a button and give me an answer. We analyze the photo. We do not think it is AI generated. They say the first casualty in war is the truth. AI generated images make the phrase more relevant than ever before. Artificial intelligence is developing rapidly. But how do we deal with AI? How do we regulate it? We need to ask ourselves these questions. Have you also come across AI-generated images of the Israel-Hamas conflict? Let us know in the comment section below or write to us at factchecking at dw.com.